And there wasn't, I, I was struggling with the, for some reason I had quite a lot of understeer and I couldn't really add much wings. Qualifying has been a headache for Hamilton this year, whether it's managing tire temperatures on outlaps or in tire blankets. But what is this tire temperature window drivers talk about? A tire temperature window is a temperature range in which tires offer maximum grip in corners and in braking. That ideal temperature window is commonly referred to as the optimal temperature window. Pirelli provides F1 with different types of tires, C1 to C5 which is from hardest to softest, and that optimal temperature window which is 85 to 95 degrees Celsius has to be managed by the driver and the race engineer. Tire blankets are used over the top of F1 tires while they are in the garage or on the grid, to keep them warm, for when the drivers go out on track. Meaning they can get into their correct operating window more quickly and thus perform almost to their optimum potential from the off. F1 was looking to outlaw tire blankets in 2024, given its push towards a more sustainable sport and pointing towards the energy they use to warm. After dropping from a 100 degrees Celsius blanket temperature to 70 degrees Celsius, F1 had planned on dropping it further to 50 degrees Celsius in 2023, but teams and drivers pushed back against the idea on safety grounds. As a compromise, teams were allowed to heat their tires to a maximum of 70 degrees Celsius again, but only for up to two hours ahead of a session instead of the previous three, in order to save energy. Now drivers have to get their tire temperatures up, on their outlap, in the optimal temperature window given tires come out of tire blankets at 70 degrees Celsius and the optimal window is 85 to 95 degrees Celsius. Car setup and balance also influences tire temperatures. Hamilton always sets up his car for the race on Sunday which in turn hampers him on Saturday during qualifying. So, what happens when tires are outside that optimal temperature window? Let's say, too hot or too cold. The car will start losing grip, sliding more across the track in different parts of a corner. More oversteer and wheel spin. More tire locking in braking zones, resulting in reduced car performance.